Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be doing a colorful summer look for Pride Month. I am using some new products, some old products, all ranging from luxury all the way down to affordable products. So come along and get ready with me. huge thank you to Look Fantastic for sponsoring this portion of today's video. If you've never heard of Look Fantastic, I'm really excited to be a part of their Equality for All campaign, which is their campaign for Pride Month. So they really encouraged those who are participating to create a colorful look and I was all in. Now, Look Fantastic's group is actually Europe's number one online beauty retailer and they are making their way into the US. They're introducing us to a lot of uncool brands, at least me anyway. So I was really Really excited to work with them. They have everything ranging from Natasha Denona, Shanta Kai to Maybelline and NYX. So they really do have options for everybody. And I definitely recommend you check out their site if you are picking up particular makeup products because if they're on the Look Fantastic site, a lot of times they will have sales or discount codes that's definitely worth taking advantage of. For example, today Look Fantastic provided me with a discount code for you guys. So if you use the code Morgan at checkout, you are going to save 22% off select items. So if an item is 22% off, I'm going to put this while I'm talking about the products so that you know you can get it for 22% off with my discount code. So I did want to stress to you guys that since the discount code for me is limited, if you click on the link in the description box, that's going to take you to the page of all of the items that the discount applies for. And this video was really only focused on makeup, but I did notice through the discount code, there's lots of great skincare options that would be a really good deal so definitely look into the skincare options really great brands like pixie and ren looks real good but everything in this video you can pick up from the website as well but do note that there are exclusions for the 22 percent off without further ado let's get into it my skin is prepped and hydrated i actually started off with the skin chemist's rose illuminating glow hydrogel eye pads you can see them in the demo here they are so pretty and they are so refreshing to the under eyes i love under eye gel pads they're my favorite they really hydrate the under eye area i do recommend if you have a lot of creasing and very dry under eyes give under pad eye gels a try they will really hydrate the area and it makes the biggest difference for concealer whenever I'm doing wedding makeup on clients and I notice that they have really dry under eyes I soak their under eyes in eye cream because the makeup is just gonna sit that much more pretty on top now this is a product that is new to me I've never tried it before so I'm gonna try it underneath my makeup this is from Kevin Aquan I'm not that familiar with Kevin Aquan's makeup brand of course I'm very familiar with his books but I really have been wanting to try this for a while. This is the Glass Glow Face Illuminator in the shade Solar Quartz. So I'm going to try this underneath my makeup. And then I also want to put it on my chest. I feel like that would be really pretty. So that's what that looks like. This is one of the products that I'm trying out that are new to me. It has like a thicker, glossy feel to it. Mm, I don't know if I like that underneath makeup. Ooh, but that looks really pretty. Do you see that? I see why people have talked about this in the past. I've seen a number of people talk about this. I don't know about it underneath makeup, but if you're not wearing makeup, this is going to be beautiful this summer. Okay, I'm interested to see how this, or if this dries down. It's called a glass glow face illuminator. So it does give that glass like kind of look, but I think it's going to look beautiful right here on the chest area. Really pretty. I do worry about this underneath makeup because it kind of feels a little bit like a less a sticky lip gloss which I don't love but because right now I'm I'm not in vacation mode but I'm going to be going on vacation very soon so I just can foresee myself not wanting to wear makeup but putting something like this on just to give my skin that added glow I'm gonna put foundation on top I don't think I'll love it but we'll try it out so let's move on to foundation I want to do something full coverage because I'm going for such a bright colorful makeup look so I pulled out my favorite high coverage drugstore foundation which is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Performance Foundation. I'm gonna put a little bit on my cap. Here we go. You're gonna see how amazing this is. This is a product that I do not talk about enough on my channel. Okay so the foundation thankfully is gliding right on top of that illuminator really nice. I don't know that it will peek through too much but I wanted to test out the consistency of that first and I definitely think that's gonna be a beautiful product for this summer. Maybe not something though that I would 
would incorporate into like my makeup routine, but just like an everyday glowy skin kind of look. Oh, I love this foundation, it's so pretty. It's been a long time since I used this foundation. I forgot how pretty it was. This is a fantastic drugstore foundation. Okay, we're gonna move on to eyebrows. We're keeping it affordable. I'm using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. The drugstore has some amazing brow pencils. I love my ABH, I love my Benefit. I love a lot of high-end brow pencils, but I also love a lot of more affordable brow pencils, and this is one of them. I love e.l.f., I love ColourPop. There's so many good ones at so many different price points. Gotta move the mirror a little bit closer. We need precision here. Okay, brows are complete. Let's move on to concealer. I'm gonna use the classic Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. Fun fact, I use this concealer in my makeup kit. I'm very picky about concealers that I use on my clients, so I have like a billion different concealers. This is one of the formulas that I keep in there. I love the color range that they have and it's so fantastic the quality of this this is one of my favorite drugstore concealers. I mixed two shades for this concealer to get my perfect color because I use a little bit of the shade Honey, which is too dark for me. The shade Honey has a little bit of pink in there to really neutralize the deepness of the under eyes and it just makes like the perfect shade for me that gives the most amount of coverage because of the corrector. Then just to make everything look a little bit more cohesive and because I have too much product on my hand, we're gonna carry it over to the center of the face that's gonna pull everything together and see how smooth and full coverage my skin looks it looks fantastic okay before i set the face i want to try this product this really intrigued me i saw a lot of this brand on the look fantastic site this is daniel sander watercolor liquid cheek color i have mine in the shape share up and they have these in like illuminators bronzers it looks really really cool they are made in germany so i'm gonna shake this guy up really good. I have no clue how to apply these either. I think I'm just gonna put it in the back of my hand. And let's see. Oh, so it's extremely liquidy. See that? So I'm gonna take the butt end of my sponge. <gasps> This is so pretty. It reminds me a lot of like an airbrush finish. I use airbrush makeup in my makeup kit. This gives that really glowy look that blends in seamlessly with the liquid products of my face. Very, very glowy. So <laughs> if you don't like glow, you might not like this product, but super pretty. It's not crazy pigmented. I'm gonna put a powder blush on top, but I really like that. I'm interested in trying more colors, maybe seeing if there are some colors that are a little bit more vibrant vibrant that will pop on my cheek. They had some sets on there that looked really good. I've never heard of this brand before. I really like this product. This is gonna be great with a skin tint and you put this right on the cheeks. Okay, so far so good, I really like that. Okay, we do need to powder the face though. So I do have some heavy coverage. I'm gonna use the By Terry Hydra Power Pyloronic Powder. This is a new one that I'm testing. I have a little sample of it that I've been wanting to try. I'm gonna blend out, oh, this oh, it's all over my face. Okay, it's one of those really, really finely milled powders, so you're kind of going to breathe it in if you put too much on your brush like I did. I definitely don't want too much powder though, actually, because I don't want my skin to look too heavy, but that set really pretty. Blurred the skin. I do feel like it did darken the color of my concealer just a touch, which I'm not in love with. It still looks really nice. It looks really perfected. I cannot get over that. <laughs> All right, we are going to do some bronzer next. I'm going to use good old Maybelline City Bronzer. I like the shade number 100. It's really light. When I want to go for something a little bit more toasty, I go for 200, but we're going to start off with 100. This is a very nice bronzer from the drugstore. This blends in very seamlessly. I love this color. Forgot to zoom in all the way. I suck. All right, awesome. So I did tell you I wanted to set with a powder blush just because I feel like as beautiful as this is, I would want something a little bit more vibrant because this is very light and natural, but I'm not going for light and natural today. So I'm gonna use the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Powder Blush in the shade Call My Blush. It's a, it's a beautiful tone that's gonna kind of neutralize the look. It's a great color that's gonna go pretty much everything. Okay, before I finish off with highlighter, we're gonna go into the star of the show, the product that I was really excited to use today. Good old Natasha Denona Circle Loco Palette. Like I said, this campaign is for Pride Month or Look Fantastic. And so I wanted to do a colorful makeup look and this 
is where I wanted to go. So I'm going to do this eye first and then I'll be back and we'll do this next eye together. So this part's the fun part. Here we go. We're going to use Fun to Mime first. This is one of the best baby powder blues that I've ever used. You can see it holds so much pigment and it doesn't blend away, which is what all like powder baby blues do. It's not chalky, just an incredible baby blue. So this is going in the inner third of the crease just like this. We'll relayer as necessary. Next shade I'm going into is Cotton Candy. So this is going to go into the center of the crease and it's gonna kind of combine with the baby blue and come almost a little bit more purpley. This one I am layering a lot because because it's a lighter color by nature and I do want it to pop so I really am making that effort to pack it on so that it stays vivid. We're looking like cotton candy right now. <laughs> and next we are going to take the shade Magic. I'm using the smallest brush that I have. When I first got this palette, I thought it would never be something that I would end up loving and I don't use it too, too often but it's so inspiring to me. I just have so much fun playing around with it. And I don't know, I'm getting more bold lately with my eyeshadow looks. I guess because I don't have school anymore. So I've been doing crazier looks for my YouTube channel. I've just been going out with them. I used to never do that. So now I'm into bold eyeshadow looks. I don't know. So maybe this palette will end up being used more by me. And I'm taking this magic shade and I'm running it along the lower lash line, leaving just a little bit of space. Wow, this eye blended a a lot easier than this eye. I had to put in a little bit of extra work on the other eye. Take a clean blending brush, really buff out those edges. You guys requested more get ready with me's and using older products, so I hope you um, are enjoying this video. Most of these products are older, but this Natasha Denona palette's fairly new. It's just makeup moves so fast, you know? Okay, so I'm going back into Cotton Candy, which is that light pink shade, and I'm gonna fill in this inner part part of the lower lash line. Just like that. And because the shade kind of disappears, I feel like this brings it back to life. And because it's a little bit more of a light pinky color, it kind of helps brighten up the eye as well. All right, we are going into the lid colors. And as you can see, I just went full on shimmer mode, honestly. I feel like if you put that light pink all over the lid, this look would be really stunning, but I'm all about the shimmers. So we are gonna start off with Snow Cone right here, which is a shimmery baby blue shade. Be warned, she's very pigmented, very creamy creamy, has a lot of coverage for a shimmer shade. So this is just going right on top of the blue crease color. Oh, this would be really pretty just as the all over eyelid color. Okay, the next shade we're going into is Razzle Dazzle. I love this shade, it's really pretty, but for this look, I feel like it's a little bit too different than the pink shade. I wish there was a lighter pink shade in here. So it does take a little bit of extra work kind of make this mesh well with the look. So be patient, reapply as needed. This shade doesn't do well applied in small areas because it's a little bit more chunky but in a good way but it does need a little bit of extra pressing in to really blend in with the different textures here and we'll have to probably build that up again later but I just want to get the foundation down of the colors and then we are going to take act beautiful and I wanted of course you know to start off lighter in the inner half of the lid and then finish off with deeper in the outer so I chose this shade so I felt like it was going to add some nice depth while also keeping up with the technique that we're using and very slowly and carefully using as small of brushes you can find this is from Olimar Cosmetics I love it for detail look blend it in make everything look seamless okay and next this is kind of the funky thing that I did that I think really pulled the look together. So I'm gonna take some of Razzle Dazzle again. So I said before, this is a shade that it doesn't perfectly match with this look, so you have to put an extra effort. So when I put this on the lower lash line, I'm putting it really in the beginning half. It doesn't match perfectly with the look, but in order to make it look seamless, I'm gonna make sure it blends in with the other colors. So right now this is standing out a little bit, so I'm gonna go in more with Magic, which is that dark matte shade we used. And this is gonna give it a little bit more cohesion. And I'm making sure I'm getting under it so it looks more blended. I don't want to go too low because you don't want your eyes to droop. But if you can carry a little bit of that color underneath, it's going to make the look much more seamless. So you see how putting that there pulled together the center lid color. I'm going to spend a few seconds off camera just getting in a little extra blending to make sure everything looks really seamless. And then I'm going to do eyeliner mascara lashes off camera because that takes me so long. So I'm using the Maybelline Precise All Day 
liquid liner. This is one of my favorite drugstore liners as well as the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift. If you've been following me, you know I've been loving this. And then I'm going to use some Ardell Foaming Wispies. So I will be right back. Oh, you guys. I love this look. Not that I was worried, but I was like, oh, I like this look. Now that it's like I took a step back, I love this look. So cute. Okay, so let's do highlighter and lips. I have been wanting to try this highlight so bad. So I'm so thankful that Look Fantastic had it. This is the Pixie Highlighter. It's called the Glowy Gossamer Duo in the shade Subtle Sunrise. So many of you guys have recommended this to me. So I'm gonna mix both of these shades. We're gonna put it on the cheek. I'm pretty new to Pixie. I've used a few of their products for a few years, but I haven't really dove into the brand products specifically for very long. And this highlighter is really pretty. I'm using a pretty soft hand because we have quite the eye right now. It looks really pretty. I'm going to take the lighter of the two shades and I want to just brighten up this inner corner because a little bit of the pink got in the inner corner. It's making me look a little sick. Now let me put a little bit of the pink on top. Give everything a nice glow. <laughs> so pretty. Okay, last item is lips. I'm using the Natasha Denona lipstick in the shade Beatrice, one of my all-time favorite lipstick formulas. She has the best color range. I have a little bit of ColourPop Oh Snap lip liner underneath. <gasps> this is the look. Isn't it so pretty? All right, let me get myself together and and we will do the final review. So what do we think of this look? I have a feeling that you guys are gonna like it. Hopefully you like it as much as me. And I hope you enjoyed this kind of casual get ready with me style video using some older products that I wanted to reuse as well as throwing in a few new products that I've been wanting to try for a while. So a huge thank you to Look Fantastic for allowing me to be a part of this campaign. It was really fun to see what I could come up with. Again, make sure you use the discount code MORGAN at checkout and it can save you 22% off on select items. Items. And that is all we have for today's video. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.